feeling. I mean, I know that there's there must be just a, a range of, of of different emotions. Um, I want to say, you know, up front, uh, that I take full responsibility for this decision. Um, you know, I'm the founder and CEO. I'm uh, responsible for for the health of our our company, um, for our direction, um, and for for deciding you know, how we execute that, including things like this. And this was ultimately my call, um, and it was it was you know one of the hardest calls that I've I've had to make in 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 the 18 years of running the company. Um, and a lot of why it's hard is, you know, obviously it it has a big impact on on your lives. Um, but also, you know, for our mission, we're, we're losing people, um, who, you know, you've really put your, your heart and soul into this place. And, you know, each of you is, is talented and, and passionate and, um, you know, each of you has played a role in making, uh, meta the success that, that it is. And, um, you know, no matter what team, uh, you may have worked on, um, you know, each of you played a role in in contributing to the products that billions of people use to connect every day. Um, Gary Gensler has completely screwed everyone in crypto. Everyone who lost any money in Celsius, Voyager, BlockFi, uh, FTX, you lost it because of Gary Gensler. He his lack of creating clarity and regulation in this space is exactly what has led us to all these offshore companies that do not operate in the United States and are not regulated his willful uh you know lack of uh, you know dereliction of duty is what's led everybody to this point we want regulated exchanges but we can't get regulation we can't get clarity you can't do everything by enforcement and gary gensler is the most negligent person in the entire space and i blame him more than i even blame spf hey everybody richard art here and enjoying a lot of don Perignon and uh just got the last Dom Perignon Lady Gaga Charity Edition. The purchase price goes entirely to the Lady Gaga Born This Way Foundation. And uh, now it's mine, so you can't have it. Kevin, now that you've gone through this experience, will you think twice before being a spokesperson for other financial companies? Will it make you stop and ask new questions? I'm, I'm a tireless supporter of entrepreneurship and innovation and disruption. I just am. I, I, it, it's why I live. It's why I get up in the morning and do what I do. Um, I, I'm, I'm proud to support innovation. I can't get it right every time. I can't. And, and I make mistakes. But I'm, I'm proud of my track record. I'm totally transparent. I'm 100% honest. I immediately disclosed everything I know about this situation as I should. I've taken lots of hits for it, um, but it's not going to stop me. It's it's you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and use the words of of, uh, of a great poet James Taylor. I've seen fire and I've seen rain, and I've seen cloudy days when I couldn't find a friend, but I'd always thought I'd have cash flow in the end. Um, you talk about trustworthiness and how important that is. Sam, days before this whole unwind, was tweeting out to the world that everything was fine. And even if fraud wasn't taking place here, everything was not fine. The actual minute by minute um, of what happened there will be eventually disclosed. There is no way to hide it. Um, it's a tragedy. It's a human tragedy. It's a financial tragedy. It's a financial collapse institutionally. Uh, but because of the nature of how these transactions are recorded on the chain, it will all be transparent eventually. And Sam will have to account for that. Um, and he'll he'll be there'll be no choice for him. And and what I say about these situations is always, I don't trade on you know, on, on rumor. I need fact. I need fact. But it, it's, and I don't have any, and you don't, no one does. And so we're speculating like crazy. Um, 
Remarkably, I will say this, that this, this onion will be peeled a lot faster than other financial collapses due to the audibility and transparency of the blockchain. You're going to find this fascinating. You'll be covering this story for the next couple of years, and the outcome is unknown. Uh, but it is a remarkable human story. It really is. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, it's very difficult. And, uh, you know, I talked to my kids about it. I've talked to lots of people about it. Um, I'm living it. I'm in the middle of it. It's, um, but it doesn't change what I'm going to do when I get up tomorrow morning. It's, uh, I'm, I'm still going to have a portfolio in crypto. I'm still going to advance the investments I've made. I'm going to support entrepreneurs that want to disrupt financial services. Um, it, it, it's not about blockchain or crypto. That's not what this is about. Those will go on. They will survive this. This will become, my speculation, in the next decade, the 12th sector, the S&P. I went from being a multi-billionaire to not being able to use my Apple Pay. Four nights ago, I couldn't use my Apple Pay because somehow Adidas was able to legally go in and freeze my money. And when I see this, I think, well, if this could happen to me, this could happen to other Americans. And for what? You know, this can happen to an American that didn't even steal anything, that didn't even hurt anyone. This could just happen to you for saying the wrong idea out loud, for expressing yourself.